Scarecrow by Cynthia Ryland. His hat is borrowed, his suit is borrowed, his hands are borrowed, even his head is borrowed, and his eyes probably came out of someone's drawer. But a scarecrow's life is all his own. It takes a certain peace hanging around a garden all day. It takes a love of silence and air, a liking for long, slow thoughts, a friendliness towards birds. Yes, birds, crows, grackles, starlings, jays, ask them how they feel about a scarecrow and they'll say lovely. They ignore the pie pan hands and the button eyes and see instead the scarecrow's best gift, his gentleness. They line up on his arms and can chat all day. He knows he isn't real. A scarecrow understands right away that he is just borrowed parts made to look like somebody. But he knows this too, that there is a certain wonder going on around him. Seeds are being planted and inside them are 10 foot tall sunflowers and mammoth pumpkins and beans that just go on forever. And though the scarecrow knows that he can as quickly be turned back into a straw and buttons as he was turned into a man, he doesn't care. He has been with the owls in an evening and the rabbits at dawn. He has watched a spider work for hours, making a web like lace. He has seen the sun tremble and the moon lie still. The scarecrow doesn't care what he is made of or how long he might last, for he has been a witness to life. The earth has rained and snowed and blossomed and wilted and yellowed and greened and vined itself all around him. His hat has housed mice and his arms have rested birds. A morning glory has held tight to his legs and a worm is living in his lapel. There is not much else a person might want and the scarecrow knows this. So he doesn't mind that there is always a smile on his face or that his eyes are always open. He doesn't mind being a pie. He doesn't mind staying there. The wind is brushing his borrowed head and the sun is warming his borrowed hands and the clouds are floating across his button borrowed eyes. And soon, birds will be coming by.